Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So in the last video, we left off with this app right here. And today we're going to be making another screen of that. And if we have time, we might make another one. It depends how long it takes us to make that. So let's go ahead and head over to Adobe XD and get started. Today we're going to be working in the exercise section of the app. So I'm going to duplicate this and then rename this exercise-cardio. So we're going to be taking a look at our heart rate with our chart area right here. So we're going to be following the same kind of style. Here we have a visual, and then below that we have some statistics. So right here we need to change this to cardio. And then I'm just going to select everything and delete it from this section. This is going to be a little bit smaller, so we're going to adjust the height on this to 290. So let's go ahead and start making our graph. So we're going to be making... I guess it's kind of like a line graph. It's going to show uh, your heart rate going up and down throughout the workout. So down here at the bottom, we're going to have the time that we worked out. And we're going to have a 45-minute workout session. So I'm going to put zero. And then we're going to change this to Proxima Nova 12 size font. To align this on the bottom, I'm going to do 27 spacing here and then 20 on the left. Eight pixels above that. I'm going to copy this line that we created in the last video and drag this up. Eight point five will work. So this is going to be the bottom of our graph, and then we're going to have these lines going up, and that's going to be our dividers for these numbers that are going to run here. We're going to have six of these in total, and they're going to be spaced thirty apart. So if I do repeat grid, I don't know if we can go. Yeah, we can't go up, so I'm going to just drag this up here for now, and then we'll just drag down and do 30 spacing. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go right there. And then I'm going to ungroup that and then drag these into position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from that. And then there we go. So now I'm going to select this zero and I'm going to hit repeat grid on that. I'm going to drag out till we have four and then I'm going to space these to about right there. Since our workout is 45 minutes, we need a little bit room here for the 45 that we're not actually going to put in. But since our graph is going to end here, we need some space for that. So we'll put it around there. And then I'm going to set this one to 10. 20, 30, and actually I need another one. So we'll scale this down and drag over. And right there, and this one will be 40. So now we need the numbers going up. So we're gonna start at 80. So I'll just type out 80, set that to our 12 size font. I'm gonna align that to the side of these lines, and I'm going to go up four pixels from the bottom of this. So one, two, three, four. And instead of doing a repeat grid, I'm just going to hold Alt and go up and use my guides to space these out. After I begin the drag, so right here, I hold Shift. That way I can't go left or right and mess this up. And then we need one more at the top. I'm going to adjust each of these up by 20, so we'll have 100. And let's align these to the left so that we don't have that happen. So I'll grab the rest of these, align them to the left, and then 120, 140, 160, and 180. That'll be a good range for our heart rate to go from. Before we fill out the data, let's go ahead and make the key. To do that, I'm going to grab a square and hold shift. And we're going to lock that and make this 9 by 9. Put a 2 on the border radius. And we can remove the border. And then we're going to apply our blue color. That's going to be our first bit of data there. And then I'm just going to align this to the left, which should be 20 from the side of this. We'll worry about this spacing in a minute. And beside that, I'm going to type out today's HR for heart rate. Put eight spacing in between that and its icon. I'm going to grab this and duplicate it. 50 spacing on this is looking too wide, so I'm actually just going to push that over by 10. And then here we're going to say yesterday's HR. 
And then this one is going to be this black gray color. I'm gonna select all of those and Command G to group, and then let's see what we have. So 30 spacing here and 30 spacing there. Uh, let's go with 27 on the top. And then I'm gonna grab all of this and group it together. And we'll do 27 spacing there. On the bottom, we're left with 34, so we'll just drag this up a little bit. 28 will work. I'm not exactly sure what a resting heart rate should be before you start working out. So we're going to go between 180 and then we're just going to build up to, I know 180 should be like around an active and 160. So we'll play with that a little bit. Depends on your fitness level, of course. So I'm going to grab the pen tool and we're just going to create a line out here on the side. And we'll go to about the eight minute mark here. And I'll make a point. And then we'll go up to, we'll climb all the way up to like right here. That's almost 160. We're going to drop down just a little bit. And then we're going to go back up here. We're going to go here. And then we're going to spike up one last time for the end of the workout. And then our heart rate is just going to fall off to around the same value. So around here. And I'm just going to make this connect outside of our card area. So once we've done that, we can make all this rounded. And to do that, I'm gonna thicken the border first. So let's go with three. And then if you just double click on the points, it'll add a round. That one looks pretty good. That one's gonna need some adjusting. So we'll just go through and add a round to all the points that are visible on the screen. And do we need one there? Yeah, let's go with one there. So I want to start over here and I'm just going to shorten the handle and just try to make the round look as good as I can. So let's go like that. Right there. I know one thing, um, if you're struggling with this, one thing to help you is if you see this handle passes this point and this handle is overlaying, you don't want handles to be overlaying each other. So you want them to be small if they're very close like that. And that's going to help the round a little bit. You can have some of the handle like overhanging. So if I were to select both of those, you can imagine a line from here to this handle. You don't want this one to be like way over here, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard when working with points that are so close like these. But I think that looks okay. This one might be too pointed. So we'll adjust that one a little bit. That looks pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll just select that and then we'll apply this as our fill color. And then we're also going to apply that as our border. For our fill, we can actually apply this 65% opacity one or you can drop it down over here, it doesn't matter. And so there is our first bit of data. So now, we need yesterday's heart rate. So we're going to compare the two. Before I do that, I'm not liking how this is rounded. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to drag out a little bit more. There we go. So yesterday needs to be a little bit different and at the same time kind of similar so we can show some progress. So maybe yesterday's heart rate was a little bit higher. So you can tell we're getting in a little bit better shape. And for aesthetics, since we're just displaying the app, we just want it to be different so you can actually see the lines so it looks better. So we'll just grab our pen tool and I'll start around here. And let's actually go lower with this. So for some reason we had a lower heart rate that day and we came to about here and this is gonna spike up quicker and higher. So around there, we'll come down about there, spike up again really high, go low a little bit kind of wave it out here and then we'll come down to about there and then we'll just do the same thing we'll just connect this outside of the card and then we can apply our three to our border and we'll just double click to round all of these Okay, so we'll just make this one go like that. 
I'm going to go with that. that. That's looking pretty good. So once we have that, we can apply our gray at 65% opacity as our fill. And right click, apply as border on our gray. And we can check the fill. And that's what we have. So we're going to want that behind since it's yesterday's data. So I'm going to hit command left square bracket key to send it one behind. And so this is what we have so far. So what we need to do is we need to crop this out out so we don't have this overhang. So I'm gonna select the blue and then hold shift and select the gray, and hit command G to group them. Then I'm gonna grab the card in the background, hit command C, command V, and that'll automatically paste it on top. With it selected, I'm gonna hold shift and select that grouping we just made, and then hit command shift M. And that's gonna mask that. Or you can go to object, mask with shape right here. So now that we have that, it's not overhanging the card at all, and it looks pretty good. One thing I am gonna do is I'm going to bring all the numbers forward. So we have those in the lines in a grouping, so I'm gonna hit Command Shift G to ungroup those. And 80 is behind, zero to 40 is behind. So we can just drag this off the screen for now. And we're gonna grab this and hit Command Shift right square bracket key, and that will bring it all the way to the front. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with 80, and I think maybe 100 was overlapped. So we'll do that. And then we can just drag this back. And then Command left square bracket key to start sending it backward. And then once we find that sweet spot, which is right here, we're gonna leave that alone. Next, we're gonna take all of these numbers and lower the opacity on them. So I'm just gonna ungroup this grid since we no longer need it. So Command Shift G. And we're gonna drop all these to 70% opacity. And then I'm going to select all of these numbers on this axis and drop those down to 70% opacity as well. So that's how to make a line graph in Adobe XD. So let's go ahead and work on the data below. So unlike this screen here, we're going to have two sections down here. So I think this is grouped. No, it's not. So I'm going to group this together and then I'm just going to drag this off the screen for now. And we can just grab this rectangle and copy it over. And we'll do our 20 spacing. I'm gonna set the height on this to like 110. So it's gonna be a small section. And what we're gonna be taking a look at is the average daily heart rate. So it's gonna show some bars over here on the side and each bar is gonna be a day. And that way we can see what our heart rate's been at overall throughout the week. So down here at the bottom, I'm just gonna hold Alt and grab this. That way we don't have to create it again. The spacing on this is gonna be 27 on the top and 20 on the left. Just like that. And this is going to be the average daily heart rate. And then down here, we can grab these numbers, drag those up. We'll put 20 spacing below that. And then on the side, 20. And this is going to be a line to the left. And then it's 140 beats per minute. So that's our average throughout all the days we're going to be displaying over here. And then we can have a down arrow. Because maybe that is lower than usual. So that's good. It means we're getting more in shape. And then over here, we're going to have some bars to symbolize the day. So I'm just going to start by creating the bars down here, and then we'll put them into position. So the largest bar we're going to be creating is 8 by 40. So we'll go ahead and create that one first. And since this is an actual data, we're going to want this to look as aesthetic as possible. So what we're going to do is we'll just repeat grid on this. And let's just drag out. It doesn't really matter how many. And I'm going to do one spacing in between each of these. Let's see, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It makes sense to show seven days, I think, but we don't necessarily have to follow that. So let's show like, let's just do ten, I think. So from there, I'm just going to ungroup that. And this one is going to be our largest one here. So we'll scale this one down just a little bit. And then this one's going to be pretty low. And then this one will be about there. So then we need one to go there. We'll go slightly lower. And just kind of 
Make them bounce up and down. That one will be the same size. And we're going to have a really low day down there. Actually, we'll go here and then there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to make this one six pixels wide. So let's think about this as a, the days of the week. So this is the first day of the week, let's say. So then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would make this the first day of the week on that week. So we'll symbolize that by scaling that down, matching that spacing. And that just makes this look a little bit better. It's not really that noticeable. And I'm actually gonna just lower this a bit to match these days. And this one's going to be gray, since that is the active day, the most recent day that we've been exercising. So I'm going to group that together. And we'll just drag this up. And I'm going to put 20 spacing on the right. And then let's try to center this with this card and see how it's looking. Or actually, let's just go to the bottom of this. I think that'll look the best. So that looks pretty good. So now we can drag this back up. And we'll do our 20 spacing. I'm just going to delete these since they're hanging off the screen. And we need to change these values. So the first one is going to be the average cardio session, so the length of the session. And we'll do 45 minutes. And then we can remove this arrow because maybe that's the same. And we'll just delete that one. This one's going to be 165 BPM. And I am going to do a space on this one since we did that up here. And I think the hours and the minutes need to touch, and these are fine not touching. And this one's going to be the active heart rate. So what our heart rate is on average when we're active, or for this day in particular. And let's say that's lower than normal. And we'll have a down arrow to symbolize that. So let me check the spacing on those. Good. One thing I want to do is I want to change this. So I'm going to ungroup this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Unless I miscounted. I'm going to add a few more. So let's go 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's two full weeks that we're comparing now. How does that look? Nope. We're not going to go two full weeks. We're going to go right there. And I think this is going to look better. We have a lot of empty space. So we'll just do something like that. Yeah, that looks much better. And then we can just regroup that. And then I think we are done with this screen. I think this video is long enough as it is. So I'm going to call it here. In the next video, we're going to be making a pie chart. And that's going to be for the nutrition page. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more You Have Related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.